Welcome to Moonlight Shadows. This is a collective reading for Scorpio. This is collective, so take what resonates. Scorpio, you guys are feeling really down about a situation. I was going to say doubting. So you're doubting a certain situation, a certain situation, something that happened in your past. You could be having repetitive thoughts or overthinking about something. A past event, a tower moment that is in the past should be left in the past is what I'm seeing. You don't realize you have people who love you. You need to ground yourself more. You could be 24. You don't have to be. Or you could be in your 20s. I'm getting someone who is rather young. If you're watching this, um, this could be for a specific person out there. But someone in their 20s, mid-20s to late 20s, they're just definitely very sad about a situation that did not turn out the way they wanted it to. You could be emotional and just going up and down through your feelings. I'm getting you need to step out of that low vibrational energy. Connect with the moon, especially on this new moon on December 14th. Release what doesn't serve you and start connecting with um, positive energies and manifesting. I'm hearing talking to the moon. Pour your heart out is what I'm seeing with this card here. It's like you're holding your heart, your emotions. You're keeping everything bottled up. It's kind of making you feel worse. You need to release this energy, whether that's writing it down or just emotionally releasing it when you connect with the moon on this next moon cycle. I feel it's a perfect time for you to connect. Some of you are star seeds, or you just love the moon energy in general. If you don't, I'm getting you should connect because the moon and the universe will listen and they will help you heal from whatever past heartache you are going through. With this next card, Vanessa, to make your, your decision, ask yourself which way brings me closer to my divine purpose, which way takes me away from it. So focus on the future instead of looking back because I feel like you have one leg up literally as far as which way you want to go. You know what direction or what your goal is, but you're not taking action because you're focusing on the past. Release the past and move towards your future. Go forward. Heal from this situation. I'm getting heart chakra energy for some of you, for most of you, but you need to let go of the past and stop reflecting on it. Let it go and move into your future. Start something new, 202, as I said that. You will have a new partnership or something that's just going to revitalize you, mind, body, and spirit, and it's going to help you reconnect with your spirituality if you do meditation and release this negative energy or this sad event. You need to heal. Take your time to process these emotions but let them come up and out of your body however that is through meditation through physical exercise where it's safe or just writing you need to practice some type of hobby or something where you release it whether that's journaling writing taking up some type of creative um, hobby that's going to help you let go of this past energy so you can release it to the universe and step into feeling more balanced and more happy within and get out of this five of cups energy you are able to heal from this. You will feel better. Home is where the heart is, is where, what I'm hearing. So you might feel a little bit sad about your home situation or something within your life that you're just not happy about. But I'm feeling here with the messages that you need to balance yourself, get more grounded. 303, as I said that. Mind, body, and spirit. Connect, meditate. Connect with your angels and guides. You do have divine support around you and positive energies of beautiful white healing light. That's there for you. You just need to tap into it. And have faith that things will get better. So those are the messages for you, Scorpio. I send you lots of love and light. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And have a great rest of the day or night whenever you watch this. Bye, guys.